right. And don't forget, we're all born with our own instruments, you know. What's that, Mr. Conductor? Our voices. Ma, 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 moo. I feel so bad. The passenger who missed the train is going to complain to the railroad. People get impatient. People complain. Engines get impatient. Engines complain. It happens to you. And it happens to Thomas. So what happened to Thomas? Oh, very well, I will tell you. Please do. All right, let's go. Thomas the tank engine wouldn't stop being a nuisance. Night after night, he kept the other engines awake. I'm tired of pushing coaches. I want to see the world. The other engines didn't take much notice, for Thomas was a little engine with a long tongue. But one night, Edward came to the shed. He was a kind little engine and felt sorry for Thomas. I've got some freight cars to take home tomorrow. If you take them instead of me, I'll put coaches in the yard. Thank you, said Thomas. That will be nice. Next morning, Edward and Thomas asked their drivers, and when they said yes, Thomas ran off happily to find freight cars. Now the freight cars are silly and noisy. They talk a lot and don't attend to what they are doing, and I'm sorry to say they play tricks on an engine who is not used to them. Edward knew all about freight cars. He warned Thomas to be careful, but Thomas was too excited to listen. The shunter fastened the coupling, and when the signal dropped, Thomas was ready. The conductor blew his whistle. Peep, peep, answered Thomas, and started off. But the freight cars weren't ready. Oh, 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 they screamed, wait, Thomas, wait. But Thomas wouldn't wait. Come on, come on, he puffed. All right, all right, don't fuss. All right, don't fuss, rumbled the cars. Thomas began going faster and faster. Whee, he whistled as he rushed through Henry's tunnel. Hurry, hurry, called Thomas. He was feeling very proud of himself, but the cars grew crosser and crosser. At last, Thomas slowed down as he came to Gordon's Hill. as they reached the top. He began to put on the brakes. We're stopping, we're stopping, called Thomas. No, 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 answered the cars, bumping into each other. Go on, go on. Before the driver could stop them, they had pushed Thomas down the hill and were rattling and laughing behind him. Poor Thomas tried hard to stop them from making him go too fast. Stop pushing, stop pushing, he hissed. But the cars took no notice. Go on, go on, they giggled in their silly way. There's the station. Oh dear, what shall I do, he cried. They rattled straight through and swerved into the good yard. Thomas shut his eyes. I must stop. When he opened his eyes, he saw he had stopped just in front of the buffers. There, watching him, was the top of a hat. What are you doing here, Thomas? he asked. I've brought Edward's freight cars, Thomas answered. Why did you come so fast? I didn't mean to. I was pushed, said Thomas. You've got a lot to learn about freight cars, Thomas. After pushing them about here for a few weeks, you'll know almost as much about them as Edward. Then you'll be a really useful engine. Thanks for the
the story. It was just what I needed. Stacy, did you put that entire schedule together from memory? Well, I had some help from Mr. Conductor. Mr. Conductor? He's the little man who lives in the wall. Oh, yes. The little man who lives in the wall. <laughs> I forgot. Wait, is that right? You mean I can catch the train at 20 after and still be in Mount Careful before the other train? Yes, it's the new train that's stopping here today. Well, that's wonderful. I won't be late at all. Say, what are you kids doing with those instruments? We're going to meet the new train. We're going to play for the passengers. Well, may I join you? If you really want to, you can play with us. Would I like to? But I'd love to. I'll be right back. What was that? That was the sound of a one-man band. Oh. <laughs> There's a one-man band convention at Mount Careful. And I'm the only participant. <laughs> and I didn't want to miss it. I'm sorry that I seemed so upset before, or I should have taken time to read the schedule. Well, no, I should have taken time to get it right the first time. And from now on, I'm keeping a pad and pencil right by the phone so I don't make that same mistake again. New train pulling it. I've been thinking, like, maybe Tex could become a one-man band. Oh. Considering how long it's taken both Rex and Tex to learn just one half of the guitar each, forget it. <laughs> Listen, he, he's playing. Let's all join in. Guys, in the wall. Reach for the speed, reach for the whistle, go where the rail may run. Reach for the words, reach for the story, follow the rainbow sun. To a shining time station. Where dreams can come true, waiting there for you. So much to see, so far to travel, so much to learn to know. Friends by your side, hopes to hold on to, who knows how far you'll go. To a shining time station, where dreams can come true. You're all 